Hi, this is Paul with Cube Lines, and we're here today to discuss how much do motorized roller shades cost? This is a question a lot of dealers and retailers don't want to answer in a direct way. And there's many reasons, because there's a lot of factors. Number one, we need to be considering how do you want to control it? Number two, how do you want to power it? And number three, what type of fabric do you want? What quality of fabric do you want? And number four, what level of service are you looking for? But I know having a number for budgetary reasons really helps. So let's get that out of the way. Now, this totally depends on where you look, where you find it. But let's say we just go on Google and we type in motorized roller shades. We're going to get a result. And our price from select blinds was about $220 for a motorized roller shade with a remote control. I have no idea what kind of motor. I have no idea what kind of control. Now, from there, when it comes down to choosing blinds for yourself, there's manufacturers like Alta, which is a subsidiary of Hunter Douglas. There's Hunter Douglas, there's Lutron. So let's say we choose select blinds. We know we're gonna pay about $220. If we want to go to Alta, which is a good mid-grade brand, we're looking at about $586 for the same shade. Again, for reference, today we're talking about a shade that's 38 inches wide by 60 tall. That way we'll know we're not choosing just some ridiculously small window for pricing. So that's a true window size. Hunter Douglas, we're gonna pay about 913 for the same window. And using Lutron, we'll pay about 1240 for that same exact window. So there's our budgetary numbers for how much does a motorized roller shade cost. There's four major factors we wanna go over. Let's break it down and get deep into the first one. How are we gonna control the shades? As far as controls for motorized roller shades, there's several different options. The first most basic option is a wand or a button that would be on the shade itself. So in order to eliminate the cords of a shade, you can actually have a wand on the shade, you press the wand, and the motor will control the shade. That's our first most basic control option. The second option is to have a remote control. This could be a remote control that you hold in your hand, or it can be mounted on a wall, or can hide in a drawer. The next level of control for a motorized roller shade would be a phone app. And once you have the phone app, you then can have scenes, schedules, and most of the time you can also then integrate it with Alexa or Google and have some of that voice controlled automation as well as scenes and app control. And the last and final control option would be if you have a home automation system in your house like Control 4, Savant, Crestron. If you have a system like that in your house, then you need to have a blind that can communicate with that system. And one little nuance is that the shade has what's called two-way control. The shade will communicate back to the control unit that is controlling the shade and let it know its actual position in real time. That's one of the big differentials between the high-end integration versus a remote control Alexa or phone app. So as far as how you're gonna power your motorized roller shade, we'll start off with battery powered. That could be a disposable battery like a AA, a D battery, a C battery, depending on what manufacturer and which shade you decide to go with. Nowadays, they have rechargeables using the lithium ion battery technology. Great solution. The battery can either be built into the motor or the battery can be an external satellite. Either way, the rechargeables have really done great. The next type of power we talk about would be hardwire. And this is where we actually run a power supply to the window. This could be a low voltage or it could be a high voltage hardwire. But let's talk about the low voltage. So low voltage hardwire means that somewhere we have to have a transformer that takes your house voltage, steps it down to the 12, 18, 24 volt, whatever your system's using. And then you have to run a wire from that transformer to each window opening. And last but not least is going to be the high voltage hardwire solution, which is actually using the line voltage from your house to power your shade. In this, what you want to be aware of is anytime you have this 110 volt connection in your house, there has to be a junction box known as a J box somewhere in the window where you're going to make that connection. So that's going to be the biggest obstacle with using the high voltage motor. Let's dive in deeper into the fabrics. What type of fabric do we want for our roller shade? When it comes to fabric for roller shades, there's three major groups. Group number one is sheer shades. Sheer shades are shades that you can see through, shades that have transparency. 
So commonly we would have a screen shade and screen shades are rated in numbers. So if you're ever looking at a fabric and they say this is a 5%, a 3%, a 10%, all those are shear shades, also known as screen shades. So that all falls in under shears. And then there's fabric shears. And a fabric shear is the same thing where you can see through it, but there's no number associated with it. It's imperfect, it's natural. So you can see through it, but there's no number. The big thing to be aware of when it comes to shear shades in general is that during the daytime, you can see out, you keep a view, it's beautiful, it's great. But at nighttime, keep in consideration for as well as you see out during the day, other people will see in at night. So the sheer shade does not provide privacy. So that's the biggest thing to be aware of on sheer shades. The next fabric group is called light filtering. A light filtering fabric provides complete privacy. Light filtering, you cannot see through it. Therefore, people cannot see back in. And when light hits the light filtering fabric, it illuminates. These are typically the, the prettiest fabrics. When they illuminate, you see textures, you see colors, they're very dynamic and there's a large selection. And then the last fabric group we would talk about would be blackout or room darkening. And that fabric is completely opaque. No light, nothing gets through the fabric. But that doesn't mean that light can't seep around the edges. So even if you're using a blackout fabric or room darkening fabric, beware that there will be light seepage around all the edges of it. Let's dive into number four. What level of service do you need? So the different levels of service, we obviously have online DIY. So you can go online, purchase a shade, it will be delivered at your house, you install it, everything's great. If you're not so handy or don't wanna go through that work, you also can do an online uh, option where you can have a handyman install it, maybe measure it depending on, on their skill set. The third level is to hire a full service in-house blind company and they're going to come out, they're going to do a design consultation with you, show you fabrics, show you options, measure for you, install for you, and take care of it. Most of these in-home design consultations will focus on one brand. And then there's another level where it's an in-home consultation that offers not only several brands, but also has experience with home automation, integration, as well as hardwire for the powering and designing the system for a full-blown home automation integration system and hardwire shades. Again, this is Paul with Q Blinds.